I could. I like remember it like it was yesterday. Um, so when I started looking into this issue, I was still working full time as a developer, and I had a female boss, which was really rare um, sure. and kind of awesome because she really could tell. I think that was the first boss that just felt took an interest in me like just really a deeper level of interest of just not just do your work and that's what you're paid for okay. she she had conversations with me opened me up to like how to run a business you know she just organically through her leadership style really kind of opened my eyes a bit to a future beyond just being a developer um and so when i came to her with the this concept of you know by the way I think there's something we could do here and and maybe it's just an event maybe it's just something small like bringing women together um but i've uncovered all this stuff and i'm like crazy excited about it and i was like can we use the studio um so deep end at the time was just a small little studio in cremon and there was only i think there was only 20 of us in the in the company sure um and the studio <laughs> meeting room was like you could fit 10 people in there okay yep <laughs> it was very small small yeah and so she was like sure put it on meetups.com like everything will be cool cool wow um and so we did we just put it on meetups.com and um then now I, I really was expecting like 10 people i just thought there's not that many of, of me around like i'm sure there's not that many women in technology um and within two weeks we had over 100 rsvps wow that's amazing it was shocking i was like what that's is 10x <laughs> It was crazy. So, yep. um, so at that point, I went back to Kath and I was like, um, I don't think we can have this at the studio right. unless unless we want to cull it and like only take 10 of these women. Um, but, but Kath, there's like over 100 uh, RSVPs. Like we're going to have to find a bigger venue. Um, so at that point, we touch base with inspire nine okay um who let us use their space yep. and we went big we got tote bags made up um so deep end sponsored the first event and we got tote bags made up we we had github as a sponsor as well amazing um so that was new wow. i was like okay people actually would sponsor this this is cool yep um so we managed to cater it we managed to get alcohol from mountain goat and this was honestly my first i felt like i was throwing a party okay <laughs> Yep, yep. And I said, that's, I had that like fine. feeling cool. like, is anyone going to turn up? I mean, they said they're going to turn up, but are they going to turn up? And so you go through all these nerves, same nerves as having a party. Right. Um, and then we we decided, okay, what in terms of content, what are we going to talk about? Um, so I really wanted to get a really diverse group of women, all different parts of their career to really just speak honestly about what it's been like um, in their career. And that's exactly what we did. I remember being wildly nervous because at the time, and I feel it a wee bit this morning, but I used to get really scared about public speaking. Okay. Like crazy nervous. Um, and anybody who knew me that night <laughs> will remember how wildly nervous I was. Um, but it it was, yeah, it was such a memorable night. I just remember sitting in this room of women who were so engaged, who were so respectful, who were all there for the same reason. And it was just this wave of of feeling like, oh, you know, we belong here. We do. And it was just so nice to see everybody and get this sense of a tribe that, where have we all been? You know, for the first time, I was sitting in a room full of computer scientists who were women. And and not all of our computer scientists, I'm sure. But, but that feeling is just so hard and un, it's untangible to, to, to explain, but it's... It's just a feeling of belonging, which I think, you know, I had went my whole career without feeling. And that's that that was an important turning point for me of realizing sure. the power of community, which I thought I knew what I was doing up until that point. And then when I felt it, I realized how important it was to come together, to talk, to share, to just even like be inspired by each other and, and keep each other going. Because a lot of these women were probably on the same boat as me alone on their team, just want to chat to another woman and find friendship in another woman and talk about her work with another woman yep. <laughs> and not <laughs> not have those glazed eyes. Sure, yeah. <laughs> because sometimes you, you feel like you're talking another language.